you'll see on my right a backdrop board with rally art plastered all over it and you'll see on my left a row of evos stretching out of sight now normally we don't see rally art we don't see backdrop boards with rally art on because Mitsubishi dropped that branding about 10 years ago more than 10 years ago in fact it was in 2010 so 12 years ago but rally art is really Mitsubishi's greatest branding and OEMs they have ideas what usually happens is a new person comes along with a new PowerPoint he throws out what the person did before just for the sake of it so in 2010 someone decided that throwing out the rally art brand was a great idea one hopes that that guy has long gone because rally art is probably Mitsubishi's greatest halo the company is fairly mediocre with most of its products it's had a few hits and the Evo is one of those hits but the Evo was born out of rally art it was born out of rallying and it's a car that's incredible because it's it comes from a four-door family saloon car but it really is an incredible car the engineering they did was fantastic you jump in an Evo and wow you realize this is something special over the years thousands millions of people have jumped in an Evo and seen it special and it's had many buyers anyway bit of history on rally art it came out in the mid 80s it was born out of Andrew Cowan's rally program in Europe so they had a Japanese base then they had an English base in rugby which did the rallying they had a big Australian base that also did motorsports and eventually there'll be a European base that did Dakar and rally art was hugely successful for about 25 years it's synonymous with Tommy Mackinnon and Tommy Mackinnon in the mid to late 90s in, in fact 96 to 99 he won four World Rally Championship drivers titles on the trot and in 98 Mitsubishi scooped up the World Rally Championship manufacturers titles and also along the way they won 12 Dakars which is unprecedented I think their last one was about 15 years ago still no one's got near them Persia I think is second it's got about seven or eight so it's not much more over half what Mitsubishi got and Mitsubishi famously won 150 stages on the Dakar and no one has got a half of that yet so they got a fantastic record rally art they really just it turned Mitsubishi into a sexy brand the Evo would have been confined to being just a C-segment four-door sedan just for ordinary people but the Evo put it on the map and anyone who's into cars wanted to drive one wanted to buy one and the whole 90s rally scene Mitsubishi versus Subaru there was two drivers of the era Colin McRae and Tommy Mackinnon Colin McRae was with Subaru mostly that's where his name is synonymous Tommy Mackinnon he's locked into Mitsubishi and really then the two tuning houses rally art with Mitsubishi and pro drive with Subaru and not too far away from each other either so that huge rivalry between those two so really had this fantastic rally art brand that just made Mitsubishi cool today where I am at is at the motor show and we're on the terrace right out the back of the hall and Exo Autosport is putting together an event today to celebrate the rally art brand to relive those famous days because rally art is huge here people love it you can see all these evos everyone dresses up their Mitsubishi's not just the evos they dress up the Pajeros they build them up into rally art style but to bring the story to date last year mid last year Mitsubishi woke up and someone must have knocked their head and said why are we not using rally art they brought the branding back so now in the motor show on the Mitsubishi brand we have rally art plastered everywhere on production models special editions rally art is back so this has got together with Mitsubishi with Echo Autosport celebrate the past celebrate the present so we've got all these Evos in a row we've got race trucks and then at the end we've got all the new Mitsubishi rally art branded vehicles the Triton the Mirage the Pajero Sport we've got all these put together to bring 
the past to the present and that's what this event's really doing bringing the past to the present together celebrating the past of Rallyard but also it's future now it's back and as a brand now whether it's going to be more than a trim level whether Mitsubishi are going to go back into competition with it that remains to be seen but at least it's back special editions of souped up ones they're done they're very cool they look great with rally art branding all over them so it's back this looks like being a cool evening we're going to celebrate something really great from the japanese scene we're going to celebrate the 90s which is the period when the japanese were just ascendant across the motorsport world not just rallying but across production and everything Alright, this event is called Lally Art Club Meet. This event is um, made for Lally Art fans. So, uh, the kind of car in this event is got the three kind. The first is evolution, the real evolution and evolution modify. Uh, the second is the less truck, and the third is the high truck for use in Thai culture. <laughs> 